Hi, my name is Max and in this video I'd like to compare two mobile hotspots with LTE, the Huawei E5787 and the Netgear Aircard 810. Both devices cost about 200 euros in Germany and are available worldwide, so um, there are versions for different operators and frequency bands in all continents. The Netgear Aircard 810 supports up to um, 600 megabits over LTE, which is LTE category 6 with a three band carrier aggregation. So you can aggregate three bands from up to 20 megahertz, which um, brings you a download speed from up to 600 megabits and uplink speed from up to 50 megabits. The um, Huawei E5787 um, has LTE category 6 which uh, brings you downlink speeds from up to 300 megabits with uh, two band carrier aggregation and downlink and um, uplink is up to 50 megabits with uh, single band LTE. Both devices have support for external antenna. You can find the ports on the side of the device. Um, these are both TS9 ports and on the Netgear you have also two TS9 ports. As you can see, um, you have different types of USB ports. On the Netgear, there's an USB 3.0 port, which is faster than the USB 2.0 port on the Huawei. Both devices support Wi-Fi, of course. Um, the Huawei E5787 supports Wi-Fi in 2.4 or in 5 gigahertz um, and has speeds from up to 768 megabits. Um, the Netgear AC A10 has the same speed but works with 15 devices at the same time, um, the Huawei only 10 devices at the same time and you can use both bands 2.4 and 5 GHz at the same time which is not possible with the Huawei. The Netgear also has a special feature called Wi-Fi extender. This is not possible on the Huawei E5787 um, and this allows you to use a Wi-Fi connection as your primary connection and to save data volume. The battery on both devices is exchangeable. You have a 3000 mAh battery on the Huawei E5787 which lasts up to 10 hours and on the Netgear you have um, nearly 3000 mAh battery uh, which works from 10 to 11 hours according to Netgear. Both devices have a power bank feature so you can charge your phone or other devices with an USB cable but due to the small battery this of course lasts not very long. As you can see both devices have a touch screen which is about 2.4 inches uh, large and um, both devices are working like a smartphone so the configuration is very easy. On the Netgear you have a LED on this side of the device um, when the display is off, you can see the status here, um, which is not possible on the, Net, uh, on the Huawei E5787. So when their display is off, you can see if the device is on or if there's a message for you. Both devices also have an app for configuration, which is available for iOS and Android. On the Huawei, this is the Hilink app and on Netgear, um, it's the Netgear AirCard app. So in the end, which device is the better one? Um, I would think the Netgear is slightly better because of the Wi-Fi extender and the faster LTE modem. But um, if you can get one of the devices, they are both very good and they are fast, have a good reception, good signal from, uh, for Wi-Fi and for cellular connection. So um, they are better than most smartphones from the um, connection side and the connection is very fast. So um, if you can get one of the devices, I think it's a good choice. So if you have questions, please use the comments and thanks for watching.